SRD straightening reins is about improving your mental well, your mental well-being, and um, we've been in place for six years now. We started in December of 2011, about eight months after I lost my youngest daughter to suicide. Um, I think this is uh, an important piece of the community services because I don't think we have enough addressing mental health and mental well-being until it's a crisis. Um, we know the city of Santa Clarita holds the record for 2016 in the northern Los Angeles County for the most number of suicides and 5150 calls and that includes youth and adults. So when we think about this um, stigma attached with asking for help when you are not dealing with anxiety or depression or um, self-medicating to cover up what's ugly in life, uh, it's there, it's prevalent and it's there. So I've been here for about three months and you pretty much come in, feed, um, muck the stalls, groom the horses, sometimes we'll take the donkeys on walks, we do waters and stuff. Every other week I come four days and then the other weeks I only come on the Saturdays because it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. It's a place that you can just come and relax. If there's any stress in your life, you can just like come here, be with the animals, like forget about it. But like you always know you're going to go back to it, but you'll always have a place for two to four hours to be with the animals and just completely relax about everything else that's going on in your life. This is our Palomino Jax. He likes to eat. <laughs> and then this is Mia. She's a Mustang. And she's very tiny, but she's full grown. She's seven years old. We'll learn how to like uh, do tack on them. So. Or we'll like feed the hens and stuff, but we haven't really been with them in a while. I have been going here for since sometime last year actually. Um, and I was helping out when Miss Rocha moved. Um, I always like to help muck and clean water and room like the usual feeding. Um, these horses here cleaning and broadly nice what? Cleaning Cleaning up rocks. So SRD is about finding a safe place for kids to be and to explore uh, being outside in the nature with the animals. And then in addition to being a safe place, we have um, counseling services where we have um, clinical staff that work with the animals to provide services for our families, whether it's our youth or their families. Um, volunteers come, we have opportunities four days a week and uh, we, they help keep the place up. They take care of all the animals, they take care of feeding them and grooming them, maintaining the property. Herd animals like our horses or our donkeys, are they're similar to humans in the fact that humans are herd animals as well. So we as a creature want to be together. We just have to find the right place where we fit. And that's exactly what happens with herd animals. They have an alpha in charge of the herd, they have someone else who's the dominant one, and they, they work together as a herd to be protected. So when we use uh, in the structured therapy, the, the um, medical staff or the mental health staff will point out and set up scenarios for the family or the youth to see what's happening in the herd. So it's not traditional talk therapy, but it's therapy where they're looking at the horses and they're engaged with the donkeys and they start to realize, oh my gosh, this is how I behave in a herd, or this is how I look when I'm going through um, a tough situation, or I'm anxious about something. They watch the horses twitch their ears, or they watch the horses um, stomp their feet. Experiences are engraved or ingrained in your body and your brain, and we don't just live them right now, but we relive them later. You remember the smells, you remember what you felt like, those are experiences. So experiential therapy allows you to process something right now with the trained staff and then take it with you so you can use it again later. 
the idea when we're having volunteers or we have our ranch crew that's here, they have experiences with the horses. They start to realize, I like being outside. Or I developed a friendship with a person who's at the ranch the same day as me, and they like to do the same things I like to do. So they establish a friendship that they didn't have or wouldn't have had. Um, we have typical population and then we have special needs population. They all come together. They all work together. So it's important that we recognize how we coexist because some of our mental um, health issues are an individual feeling like they're being attacked. They're feeling like they don't fit. And a lot of times that happens because they don't communicate. They're not able to um, express their needs when they're special needs kids. And so we work on developing those mentorships when they're here at the ranch. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, it's so close, so close. You have to like tickle it. Oh, did you see it? Did you get that? Um, I really am a firm believer that your mental health is equally as important as your physical health. I think after losing my daughter to suicide, who was a genius and uh, struggled to find her place, I think that I've seen the peace that the horses can bring to you and the idea of empowering everybody to find their own voice their own way is the most important you don't need to be enrolled in a club that travels for sports or enrolled in um, a different activity every day after school it's it's okay to be and it's important to be outside disconnected um, with the animals with the dirt with the doing that creative thing the girls are getting ready to paint rocks all of those things build your layers of your confidence and helps you be a little more well-rounded. So I think that's really the most important thing. Um, if nothing else, SRD, Straight Tuning Reins, put your name, put the name and number away if you have someone who needs help. Um, happy to be out there and uh, provide those services. We're about being proactive before it, we have to be reactive.